Hey, what is up guys? So time to do speed dice comparison between Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus comparing Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So let's go started. So before that, I'm going to give you side-by-side -side comparison. So everything else, guys, you're going to see the same. And if you notice, guys, the phone size more bigger but still smaller than the Note 8. Anyway, on the bottom, except for the S Pen, everything is the same. I'm going to see the side power key there on both on top. Was similar on the back side of the phone now we have a dual lens camera compared to triple lens camera we have a dual 12 compared to dual 12 plus 16 over there and we have a hard monitor flash which is we're gonna find in both phone now finger scanner for the note 8 uh, compared to s10 plus we have a finger scanner in the display now on the front side of the phone we have a 8 compared to 10 and 8 on the front so let me just boot this up and give you more specs about the device. One, two, three. And they both are booting up right now. And let's see which one actually booted faster. Probably the Note 8. But let's see. S10 Plus did boot up faster after like one second the Note 8 but everything got booted up as you can see so guys as you can see the both display are really really awesome display now they're both are AMOLED display we have a super AMOLED compared to dynamic AMOLED display in the latest S10 Plus now the pixel density also the resolution are really similar on this both screen so we have 6.3 inch compared to 6.4 inch display between these two devices so now for the resolution wise we have 1440 by 3040 for the S10 Plus compared to 1440 by 2960 for the Note 8. Now pixel density we have a 522 compared to 515 in the Note 8. Also the chipset wise we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 comparing 855 processor as well as we have Arduino 540 compared to 640 GPU. Now we have 8 gigs of RAM in the S10 Plus compared to 6 gigs of RAM in the Note 8. So guys, the SM Plus right now running Android Pie out of the box compared to Note 8 didn't get the update yet so still running Android Oreo in the Note 8. Now for the camera wise they can shoot up to 4K videos on the both phone on the back cameras. On the front camera they can shoot up to 1080p videos only on the both phones. Now the battery wise we have a 3300mAh battery for the Note 8 compared to 4100mAh battery for the S10 Plus. So yeah guys, let's just find out which phone is the best between these two. So guys, we're gonna start from the phone application. One, two, three, S10 Plus, message application. Again, S10 Plus, Play Store. Again, S10 Plus, Snapchat. S10 Plus, Twitter. I think S10 Plus, bit second faster, WhatsApp. Again, S10 Plus, Facebook, S10 Plus, Instagram, S10 Plus. So as you can see guys, only like one second slower is the Note 8. Not that big deal here. PUBG, and a bit delayed over there. But anyway, let's just see which phone actually loads this game faster. Obviously the S10 because having 8 gigs of RAM compared to 6 over there so definitely as you can see 8 gigs of RAM is more faster compared to 6 still on the first page right now but S10 is leading right now I mean S10 plus leading right now and anytime now finish with the S10 plus still loading up there and after like uh, 5 second might be gonna done Yep, finish up the 5 second, anyway, moving on with the Mortal Kombat, still delaying over there, let's see which phone load this game faster, probably S10 Plus this time as well, so as you can see, after like a 2 second or so, again, follow behind, no date, anyway, Temple on 2. And also guys, we're going to see some color difference on this game. 
so the s10 plus followed behind after like a second or so is the note 8 but as you can see guys color wise really really close colors on both i'm gonna play a little bit so you can see and judge yourself the display wise look really close displays on both but anyway moving on with the subway surfer and delaying as you can see guys i'm touching same time but still delaying over there and less than plus load this game faster anyway as you can see the floor wise kind of more brownish on this side compared to over there but anyway i'm gonna play a little bit so as you can see display wise really really close to so displays on both anyway moving on with the asphalt 9 still as you can see delaying in the node 8 and look at the resolution on both really really awesome s10 plus follow behind node 8 moving on with chrome i'm gonna open samsung website on both and the s10 plus did the load age faster after that is node 8 so next will be internet that will be wikipedia website on both again s10 plus did load the page faster now guys time to do some multitasking i'm going to open few application on both and see which one actually refresh so starting from s9 and they're both still in the background on both phones Moving on with the Subway Surfer, still running on both. Next, I'm gonna open Instagram and see if it's refresh or not. Still in the background on both. Next, I'm gonna open Twitter. Let's see if it's refresh or not. Still in the background. Let's open Play Store. still in the background so guys not a single application refresh so far so time to run a Geekbench score this is about the device so I'm gonna simply run it one two three so yeah guys I'll catch you in a few seconds once they are done so guys this will be the score you're gonna find between the devices I know the S10 plus is completely blow away the Note 8 but the speed wise guys only like a two to three second difference in some case five second difference between the speed wise between these two devices so guys let me know what are you thinking about the speed as comparison between samsung Galaxy s10 comparing the note 8 now guys if you're using the note 8 i won't recommend you guys uh, upgrading to s10 or s10 plus because still really really awesome solid device here this phone is really an awesome device note it's still worth purchasing it but anyway guys leave your thoughts in comment section below i'll catch you next video peace out